All right, you guys, so to give you a little introduction to this car, it's an inline six, three liter twin turbo, makes around 425 horsepower, which is a lie, just like all German cars. This thing is uh, too quick, if I may say. Um, uh, zero to 60 is claimed to be 4.2 seconds and a quarter mile in the mid 12s. This car has two 85s in the rear, which is where all that power is sent to, and it does have some pretty serious traction issues. Let's throw everything in Sport Plus mode. We got adjustable drive modes, adjustable suspension, and an adjustable steering wheel. Uh, we got some corners coming up here that we're going to really test this car on because, you know, I drove an M6, uh, which was a fantastic experience. This car, despite making over 100 less horsepower than that, feels just as quick. Uh, that's likely thanks to the weight reduction. Obviously, the M4 is much more tailored to be a cornering car, and an M6 is probably more of a drag strip slash just grand touring kind of car. Um, but I'm very excited to see how this thing does. Let's... I'm gonna let's skip to the corners. All right, here we go. Let's pick this thing up a little bit. Yeah, this car uh, fishtails very, very easily whenever you shift gears. It's quite crazy. shift in this thing you get like punched back into your seat it's a very weird thing with bmw transmissions i do like it not gonna lie same thing with the m6 that when you shift you just it punches you back into your seat it's crazy all right let's do a, a second gear pull here ready Why did I not expect that from this car? You know, I was like, ah, 425 horsepower. I'm sure it'll be pretty fun. Yeah, this thing's a bit more than than pretty fun. Yes, it's a $40,000 car, um, but it makes pretty much every dollar worth it. Now, this car also offers a lot of interior luxury too. It's definitely not over the top, but for a sports car, I'm impressed. It's not like, you know, a gutted out interior that's like, oh, when you hop in this thing, you can only go fast. No, you can enjoy the ride too. The suspension is not that nice going over bumps, but again, understandable for a sports car. You get heated and cooled seats. You got those adjustable drive modes. Um, this is a pretty nice looking car as well. Um, I, again, I would also describe this as a sleeper car, kind of like the Audi RS5. There's not a whole lot going on on the outside that makes this an obvious sports car. To the untrained eye, they're not gonna know. To people who do know, Again, you got to get pretty close to this car to know that it's an M4. Uh, the biggest giveaways for me are those side vents and then uh, the, the blue brake calipers. When I see those, I'm like, yep, that's something special. And the traction control saves you. Uh, trust me when I say that. Uh, I got back from a car wash and then, you know, floored it and it cut power when it, when it knew it was supposed to. So I, I trust the engineering of this car a lot. Um, I'm not putting all my trust into it, but you know, I, I think the way this car is designed to protect you and let you have fun is very, very nice. It's, it's a very raw driving experience, I must say that, because when you drive this thing, when you floor and push it, this will let you spin, it will let you drift, it'll let you have a ton of fun with it, but it's controllable fun, which is really, really cool about this car. Yeah, that braking power is, is really nice. Let's toss it into this corner. Easy. 
easy peasy. Yeah, I, I would trust going into a pretty sharp corner at like 50 miles an hour with this. And even if you begin to slide, don't worry, the Germans got you. And the shifts on this car are all right. I've definitely experienced worse with the uh, paddle shifters on an automatic transmission. You can option for a dual clutch if you really want that. Uh, that's several thousand dollars more. But I don't know. I mean, dual clutch transmissions add a lot to the driving experience, especially if you're opting for a, an automatic over a manual. Also, this one we're in right now, you can see it has 82,000 miles on it. Yet it feels brand new. There's no like strange noises. There's nothing wrong with this car at all. And just like the, the Porsche Cayman that I did prior to this, these German cars just last, they're almost bulletproof. I did quite a bit of reading on the reliability of this thing and it seems to be just fine. Let's push it. My phone just fell into the death trap, never getting that back. All right, you guys, let's do a first gear pull right here. Again, with the, the traction issues that this car has, it ain't gonna grip, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Yep, that 425 horsepower, what a joke. That, that's, I did the 2024 Mustang GT, a full review of that car in a POV drive, and I mean, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, this car is, it, this feels faster than that car, and that has uh, 60 more horsepower than this, 55 to be precise, and it weighs about the same. So something's off here, which again, that's what you'd expect from the Germans. I like when they underrate it rather than overrate it. It's way more fun that way. Yeah, BMW M cars are something seriously special. Uh, every time I've gotten in one, every time I've driven one, which is literally just two times, it's just so raw. It's like a lot of cars today, they feel, I don't know, like they're just protecting you too much. But this one, oh my gosh. I mean, I'm a little scared for my life driving this thing which makes it so much fun. I mean, you definitely don't want to get an inexperienced driver in this thing and just, you know, here you go. Here's uh, 425, more like 500 horsepower. Uh, do what you can with it. You, you need someone who has prior driving experience with sports cars to handle this thing and actually come back with their life and the car. The car is probably more important. And that's gonna wrap this drive up, guys. Let me know what you think about this car. It's so cool when they have your expectations set low, then they just over deliver. That makes actually driving the car so much fun. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you watch the tier video that I did on this car as well. Oh, and don't forget to do this right here. Please, love you, thank you, peace.